Willkommen und guten Tag, meine Kinder. Welcome and good day, my children. Oktoberfest in La Crosse. What a wonderful time of the year. One of the things that makes Oktoberfest so special is the way it began. Oktoberfest began long ago in a city called Munich, Germany. In 1810, Prince Ludwig of Bavaria married Princess Teresa. The prince was so happy about his marriage, he invited everyone in the kingdom to his wedding party. More than 40,000 people attended. The wedding celebration was such a success, the people of Munich decided to do it every year. And now, 150 years later, across the Atlantic Ocean, the first Oktoberfest in La Crosse, Wisconsin was celebrated. It was a special event for the city. There was a parade, a carnival, and plenty of music and dancing. It, too, was a great success, and the people of La Crosse decided to do it every year. In the second year, the organizers decided to name a festmaster. The first festmaster was Don Rice. He was joined by Miss Oktoberfest Marilyn Otto. The two of them were the first royalty of Oktoberfest. Later, the planners of Oktoberfest added a Mrs. Oktoberfest, Maple Leaf and Torchlight Parade Marshals, and finally a special fester. Now the royal family is up to 12 people. Each year, new royal family members are announced. All the royal family wear German-style clothes. The men wear leather shorts called Lederhosen, often worn with suspenders and a trachten jacket. The women wear a dress called a Dirndl in German. They wear floral head wreaths and jewelry with Edelweiss on it. can tell some of the royal family by what they wear. The new festmaster wears a hat with a big white feather and a gold sash. The festmaster's wife is announced as his Frau. Next year, he will wear a maroon sash. Miss Lacrosse Oktoberfest wears a crown and a white sash. The Miss is announced at a pageant. Ship is Contestant number 11, Tiana Vanderhei. She will compete in the Miss Wisconsin pageant next June. And some Miss Lacrosse Oktoberfest even competed at the Miss America pageant. The Mrs. Oktoberfest also wears a dirndl and a green sash. Her husband is commonly announced as Mr. O. There are women parade marshals, and there are men parade marshals. They get to lead their parade, usually riding in a horse-drawn carriage. The special fester is the youngest member of the royal family. They may be from your school. The grenadiers are married couples who volunteer their time to escort the royal family to events and to parades all over the Cooley region. You will hear the royal family do a salute called Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit, der Gemieligkeit. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemieligkeit.
And what is Gemütlichkeit? It means friendship and cheer. The planners of Oktoberfest are called the board of directors. They are busy all year round to plan all of the events for Oktoberfest. So there still are parades, a carnival, and plenty of music and dancing. Besides all of those events, the Oktoberfest royal family is very busy making visits to schools, nursing homes, and welcoming visitors to our community. Here is a song you will likely hear at the appearance of the royal family. It is a wonderful time of year. Now, Auf Wiedersehen, or which means goodbye in German. <laughs> 